Hey yo, what's goody all my beautiful people out there in the tube of the U? It's your boy Jay Nuck over here at Hukanaka. And as you can see, I have a special guest with me, Cloud Chick. How are you doing today? I'm good, you? I'm awesome. I'm awesome. We're smoking hookah, so you know, why wouldn't we be awesome? So today we have a brand new review for all of you. Um, it is going to be over Alchemist Blends Lamardo. Was it Lamardo? Would you say Lamardo? Lamardo. I don't know. Lemonardo Da Vinci. Bang, bang, bang. And a uh, pretty crazy flavor right here. Right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the smell of it. And um, yeah, we're gonna talk about the smell a little bit. Immediately when I smell this, I'm getting just like a nice gummy sensation, like a um, gummy worm almost, so to speak. Um, obviously, you know, we got the Lemonardo, so it's gonna be a play off something lemony. What are you getting from the smell? Sour gummy worm. <laughs> sour gummy worm. So there you go, lemons are sour, so I guess that works out. So that's kind of what we're getting from the smell. Uh, it definitely smells like something from the candy store. I would say. I like candy, so. Love me some candy. You can't go wrong with candy, right? So it seems like a lot of the stuff that I've been smoking here lately, a lot of the newer stuff has had like a gummy theme to it. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and tell you how that smell translates into the smoke. Um, today we are smoking out of my Q hookah. Got a Bambino bowl. We're rocking a flavor saver. I can't talk. Flavor saver? Flavor saver. <laughs> Uh, with the uh, uh, three coconut flats and uh, obviously we got the little wind cover on there So you need to watch the quick tips if you haven't seen that then you know more about it and just our dashini tips and our plastic tips So uh, let's go ahead and take a hit How long would you say we've been smoking this for? About 15 minutes? Yeah, probably about a good 15 minutes, so We've had it going here for a little bit, and I will say, I just noticed this, the lemon's coming out a lot more. You're definitely gonna get hit with that lemon. I'm getting a sense of gumminess, but it's not like a traditional gummy to me, and you pointed this out earlier, it's like a nice honey type of sweetness. You wanna go ahead and elaborate on that a little bit? It definitely tastes like honey, but not pure honey. Um, it kinda tastes like the sour gummy worms, but you don't get the sour of it. You get Yeah, it's a, it's a little potent. I would definitely say that. It's probably um, like the sourness, the, the tiny bit of sourness that comes through is definitely that lemon. Would you say this is more like a natural lemon or more of a candy? I would say it's more of like a natural lemon. Mm -hmm. And then with the honey, kind of goes like candy. Right, right, <laughs> definitely. So I think that's what we're gonna draw from this is kind of almost like a lemon lime gummy worm or not really lime but like you know the yellow gummy worms that's got that nice lemony flavor but then the sweetness is more like a honey so it's not like overly sweet at all it's very mild in sweetness so i think that's where we're kind of relating it to that honey as far as like smoking this on its own do you think it's something that you could smoke on its own personally Personally, I just like mint, so it would be a really good flavor to mix with any sort of mint. Um, maybe if I was on like a honey and lemon kick, I would. So. Yeah, you know, you know me, YouTube. I'm a <laughs> mint head, so I'm definitely gonna agree with that. So high five on that one. Uh, definitely, this would benefit from like some FML. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, of course, she loves FML. I do. So it would definitely benefit from that. I think that would definitely just give it like a nice cooling sensation. It would make it a lot cooler of a smoke. It's a bit of a warm smoke right now, I would say. Um, that's how most of these tend to be when they're on their own. But it's definitely a good standalone flavor. I feel oh, yeah. like the flavors come through enough. 
Uh, if you wanted to mix this with other stuff, I think uh, you wouldn't lose flavor. It's pretty strong, right? Oh yeah, it's pretty strong to be a mixer or a standalone, either or. Definitely, but I think we uh, we both agree on the mint aspect of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at some clouds and see what we're working with. Hopefully she doesn't put me to shame on her first video. And get used to seeing her. She's definitely going to be in some more reviews. So uh, leave it in the comments below if that's something you want to see and give it a thumbs up for the cloud chick. <laughs> so, all right, let's, let's hope I don't embarrass myself with these clouds. It's okay, it's my FML. You're good. Right? <laughs> Pretty thick clouds. So definitely nice thick white puffy clouds uh, with a few Alchemist flavors I have smoked in the past. It's very consistent with that so you can go ahead and expect that from Alchemist. So great job on that as you can see. Cloud chick staying true to her name. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I I like it so far, so good. I've I've liked pretty much every flavor I've tried from Alchemist. Is this your first Alchemist experience? It is. So let's go ahead and tell those beautiful people what what you think of it. I really like it. Um, the cut of it was a little thicker than I'm used to, but it wasn't any more difficult to pack. Um, like you said, you pack it like here. Yep. I packed a bowl. So I was pretty proud of myself for that. <laughs> <laughs> and you did an excellent job. It's smoking fantastic. So let's go ahead and get a nice little golf clap. Um, yeah, I, as far for me, Alchemist, um, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see more flavors from them. And uh, so far, I'm, I'm really digging the brand. I'm digging this flavor. Again, that's, do you remember what it's called? Lemonardo Da Vinci? Lemonardo Da Vinci. Good job. So yeah, uh, I think we both like this. I think we definitely will probably be mixing this with FML though moving forward. But uh, as far as a mixer with other things, like I said, the flavors are strong enough to where you won't lose them. So don't worry about that. Uh, if this is something you do want to go ahead and check out, head on over to 5 starhookacom Big shout out to Alex and Mary, always holding it down for your boy and your chick. So uh, if you want to get an additional 15% discount off anything that's not already on sale, type in my discount code JNUG and I'll try to find somewhere to put it up here. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll save you 15% off anything that's not already on sale. So pay attention to that. So other than that, is there anything else you might have to say about this or anything you want the people to know maybe about you or the mic is yours. The oh, camera is yours. Mine? Yes. Um. Well, I'm guessing you've been smoking longer than I have. I've been smoking for like four or five years, maybe five years. I've been smoking since for about two years. <laughs> oh, okay, wow, I won, I won. I really like the packaging of it. It reminded me of like an ice cream packaging, like when you go and get like... Like a Ben and Jerry's? Yes, or... a Ben and Jerry's. And then it doesn't seem like it would be loose so the tobacco would dry or anything. And the packaging of it with the sheesh in it, it's really cool. I really liked that. It was really nice. But the flavor was strong enough you could smell it through the packaging. So that's one thing I really look for like when I look for sheesh, is if I can smell it. And I definitely like it too. So definitely go ahead and check it out. If you haven't already checked it out, then, uh, or if you have already checked it out, leave it in the comments below because I definitely want to hear about it. If you have some really cool mixes that you can suggest to us, let us know and maybe we'll record a review on it and shout you out. And yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and finish out this session. And we will see you on the next review. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave a comment for Cloud Chick. And deuces. You want to take them out properly? I will. Oh, snap. Well, let me get out of the way.